Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on Python career opportunities. In this session, we'll be talking about how you can kickstart your career in Python and attain expertise in this field, which will eventually land a great job with a good package. This video will clarify all your doubts regarding how to get started in Python. So, without further ado, let's start with the session. But before we begin the session. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. What is the main objective? Why do you need to choose Python? Right. So here there could be people who are from different uh, backgrounds. It can be like uh, freshers. You can be from another profession who is willing to change it to Python career. And also there could be people who want to learn Python to advance their career. Right. So there can be multiple people. who are willing for uh, going with python as a career choice so having said this we will understand why python so whenever we have we also have multiple programming languages so why should we consider python for our career is the main question so if you can google which are the famous programming languages that are there in the world right now so you will get python is the top one right so if you can see python is basically a top programming language which is uh, available why i am requiring python as a programming language is because it is a multi purpose programming language so now what all things that we will talk today is we will see the overview we will also see what are all the different things that you can do by using python so as i said python is a general purpose programming language it can be used in multiple places so a person whoever uh, learns python can uh, build some applications including machine learning models games etc 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 so having said that we will go ahead and see all of that in today's section so you can see here so if you can observe that what are all the career options that are there so you can see from a programming perspective python is a high level general purpose programming language so which means it is basically used to understand why actually we are using python so it can be used for multiple purposes like building a website you can also build games you can have data science related activities all of that we are having right so python is basically used in the modern applications like machine learning artificial intelligence etc so this is what is a little bit of a overview that you are getting for the different roles that are there in python so if you can see we will compare all these things and then why we are having python as a programming language so python programming language actually supports all these things right so when someone is an automation engineer when someone is a web developer when someone is a ethical hacker game developer data scientist anyone anyone can use python for their benefit so now if you can go and then see let us say a person aspires to become an automation test engineer and then he wants to understand how python can help him so if you can observe here for any person to become an automation testing engineer what he will do is he will basically write python scripts right so he basically writes python scripts and then he will try to see whether the things are working in line with that term. so that is the role of an automation testing engineer right what are the tools available you can see i have something called as a selenium so selenium is basically a tool which is used for automation testing however when you see there is something called as a pytest and also i have something called as a pyunit so basically pytest and pyunit are two things where the they are called as packages so now i will tell you what is a package or a library so basically a package is a set of functions set of programming functions that is there in any given programming language in python I, we have so many packages depending upon what is your purpose so pytest and pyunit are the two packages which are being used by automation testers for doing automation testing so this is point number 1 and selenium is also tool so if someone aspires to be an automation test engineer he can go ahead 
and then he can use this particular uh, library and then he can start his journey as an automation test engineer. So basically Python is required for that. So now having said this, we will move on to the next career aspect. You can see it is the average salary of an automation test engineer. So what, how much we will get? So starting from basic, so a fresher's automation test engineer salary can start from somewhere around three, three and a half, four lakhs, and it can go up to eight, nine, 10, 12 lakhs also. But on an average, we will get 6.15 lakhs as a average salary package, right? So this is about the automation test engineer role. So the next thing is for the web developer. So basically web developer role is something which is there and web developer is someone who will be building websites and then who will be constructing all the UI and backend and everything. So now everything is becoming automated. So it can be your online shopping. It can be anything, right? So you see Amazon, Flipkart, everything. So many things are going in the websites these days. So the web developer is someone who builds websites and then he's the one who will be able to go ahead and then do it. Now to build websites, you will need Python. So as I told you, he can build the backend, frontend APIs and everything. So what are the tools that he use? There are majorly two things. You, wherever you see PY, 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 it's a Python library. Flask also is used, Django is used. So basically Django, Flask, all of them are web development frameworks that a web developer uses to create websites in Python. So basically we saw an automation test engineer profile. What are all the tools an automation test engineer uses? That one we saw. We saw web developer profile, what are all the testing tools that he use? What are all the tools in Python that he uses? We saw. And now what is the average salary package of a web developer? So as I told you, the average salary package of a web developer is a little higher than an automation test engineer. It can start somewhere from 2 lakhs, 2.5 lakhs for freshers, 3 lakhs, and it can go up to 14, 15 lakhs for experienced people. So on an average, you will be getting around seven, seven and a half lakh in Indian currency. So this is the average salary of a web developer. I can tell you now another interesting uh, job role with Python is becoming an ethical hacker. So ethical hacker is nothing but a person who tries to break into the system in order to see the security loopholes that are not fixed. So let us say you are a multinational company and your databases, everything is there and those security things are not fixed yet. So a person, an ethical hacker is a person who breaks into such systems, checks whether the loops are fixed or not fixed. So if they are not fixed, then the developer team can fix them. So that is the role of an ethical hacker. So what are all the tools that he uses? Uh, Scapei and uh, Flowgrep, Subroot. So these are all some of the Python related libraries that are helped in ethical hacking. So if you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPAT has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. These are the major ones, right? So this is another multifaceted domain of our Python. So having said this, what is the salary package of an ethical hacker? So we have 9.25 LP as an average. Ethical hacking is a profession where you don't have a limit. So if you're a very good person, because company security is very important, so they'll be paying you very much high, whatever is the requirement. So it can start from 4 lakhs, 3 lakhs for freshers. It can go up to 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs also for experienced professional who are good in this domain. Now, the most important one, which is a game developer. So all of you know, these days, everyone are fond of games. It can be a computer game. It can be a mobile game, anything. So a person who can build a variety of games in different platforms is a game developer. A person who can build, a person who can test, and also a person who can design. So all these things are included in the game development role, right? So game developer is someone who does all these things. So for a person to build, to develop, and also to deploy and test all these things, he will need Python. So basically Python has 
tools that helps you to do it. So I have something called as spy game. So you have open GL and also I have Kiwi. So these are some of the game development tools that are present in the Python mode, right? So if someone is willing to become a game developer, then these things he can use and he can access them. So this is something that I can tell you, right? For a game developer. Now, having said that, the most uh, important thing for a game developer is the salary. As you can see, the salary of a game developer is around eight and a half to nine lakh rupees. So based on what role you are, it can start from five, four lakhs for freshers, and it can go up to 15, 16 lakhs per experienced people. Now, the main thing of the day is who is a data scientist? So a data scientist is a professional who basically analyzes the data, reads the data, gets the input from all other places, right? So different data sources, collects them and also uses them for the benefit of the uh, company. He will do some kind of analysis and then he'll be using it. So data scientists can use Python for taking the data, cleaning the data, analyzing the data, building machine learning models and all other things. So that is a main role of a data scientist, right? So what is happening is now these days, the data is exploding. The requirement to analyze the data is also very much increasing. So this is the role which is in demand these days. So Python is one of the programming languages, which is preferred for data scientists as well. So if you can see, he gets, who is a data scientist? His, he takes a lot of data, gets useful insights out of the data, trains the model, which can make predictions. So this is something. And uh, later on, what he can do is, uh, he will be able to visualize the data and then uh, he'll be able to analyze them. So Python is uh, Python is the tool which is basically used for this purpose, right? So this is something. And then if you can see the main tools that you can use are Pandas and NumPy. So if you can Google them, Pandas and NumPy are the tools that are used for. NumPy stands for numerical Python. So basically using NumPy, a person calculates the mathematical computations and then he does all the mathematical related things so pandas is nothing but a library which is panel data panel data structure pandas full form so by using pandas a person creates manipulates and also he will try to he will try to go ahead and then get the structure of the data correct so basically that is used for manipulating the data now scikit-learn is a library which is used to create machine learning models so what is a machine learning model a machine learning model is nothing but a model that is created by using statistical analysis where a user or a person is able to predict or probably forecast something by using a data so that is the core of data scientists and what they do. So for all this purpose, people will use Python. So as I said, these are the libraries. And having said this, an average salary of a data scientist, you can see somewhere starts from three and a half, four lakh for fresh graduates. And it can go up to 20 lakhs, 20 plus lakhs for experienced people and even more. On an average, a person can make around nine to 10 lakhs. So these are all the major career paths that you can choose if you know Python. So this is the thing. So these are all the available career options that you have. You can become an automation engineer. You can become a web developer. You can become a ethical hacker, game developer, data scientist, etc. So these are some of the career options that you have with Python. But having said that, how do you start? So Python, advantages of Python is, the first one is it is free. Anyone can download Python without paying anything. And the next thing is, the main major thing about Python is, whenever we see Python, it is easy to learn compared to any other programming language, right? So the learning curve of Python is very easy to learn and it is free. You can download it. And it is having very vast kind of a support system. You get a support system very widely for Python. So that is another advantage that we have. And apart from that, Python 
has built-in libraries which will support you to do testing activities, web development activities, ethical hacking, game development, data science, etc. So there is no need for you to write the code for everything from scratch. So these are some things that we are going ahead and then we are doing. And later, the only thing that you need to understand where to start is, starts from scratch. Try to write a hello world program in the beginning. So once you write a hello world program, however complex or however simple it is, start from scratch and then try to write hello world program and then go step by step, understand the data types and everything. So whenever you're trying to learn Python, take up a certification course from some premium institute, which gives you a certificate of completion of your course so that you can have an edge over others. And last but not the least, you have to give at least three to four hours of dedicated time every single day for practice. Unless you give three to four hours of dedicated time every single day to practice, then it will become a little difficult for you, irrespective of what you have, irrespective of uh, what course you have, irrespective of what content you have, what certificate you have, unless you dedicate yourself three to four hours every day, then it will become a problem. So these are the things that you should keep in mind. And these are the things that you need to practice. And then you should show these things to learn Python. So having said this, you can go into multiple roles with a single programming language. You can become a developer, you can become a test engineer, you can become a hacker, you can become a data scientist, you can become a game developer, anything. Main thing is you should know the language, start from scratch, understand things from scratch. And also the major thing is getting your basics correct. Start from the basics, understand all the basics correctly and give dedicated 10 to 15, at least 10 to 15 minutes from your daily routine to revise what you have done every day and three to four hours of practice. That is very much required. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. Thank you.